G'day guys, Menace here with another Ark Survival Evolve news update. This week we have the Halloween event and a bit of news to cover, so let's get into it. The Fear Evolved event is live and the game has undergone some drastic changes for this period of time. We now have pumpkin patches and graveyards scattered across the map. These are harvestable and required for the Witch Hat skin. To acquire this specialty item, you will need a bone costume from the Kano, Rex, Raptor, Bronto, Trike and Stego, as well as 40 headstones, 10 scarecrows and 30 pumpkins. Once you have these items, you must hand them in to an obelisk and attain the skin. As well as changes to the landscape, nighttime has been extended and during certain nights a dodo rex can spawn accompanied by a horde of zombie dodos. This special mob has a ridiculous amount of hit points and health regeneration making it very difficult to kill. Upon its death it will drop a dodo rex mask skin. Currently it is not tameable but it has been confirmed for a return event in November where it will be possible to tame one for your own. Coming soon to the Ark, we will be getting a soap item that removes dye from structures, as well as the Giganotosaurus and the ability to place crop plots on platform saddles. This will allow the players to use the Plant Species X on the back of dinos equipped with the platforms. The recently added snow and swamp biomes will have specific caves added as well as tech caves, in which I assume the new tier of items will be located. The devs have also revealed that the scorpion and underwater creature breeding is being worked on as well as a makeover for the war drum sounds. The dossier release for this week is that for the Diplodocus, which stands roughly two-thirds the size of a Bronto. This dino is completely friendly and will not retaliate when attacked, making for an easy tame. This herbivore will not have a platform saddle, but instead have a three-seater. Finally, I have a bit of leaked dev kit to share with you. These images come from subscriber Jack Waller. In them, you can see new types of structures as well as an industrial grinder. Most notably though is the UFO shaped object that could either be a part of the tech tier or some kind of cooking device. So that's it for this Ark Survival Evolve news update. Please show your support on these videos by hitting that like button. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more content. My name is Menace. Thanks for watching.